Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. In Athens today, I'm in a little bit of a time pickle, so I'm just trying as I walk through this park to fetch a cab to record a little video for you guys. So today's topic is consistency is key, especially when you don't feel like it. So today, as I'm here in Athens, I trained in a gym where I normally don't train. I've been there once before because I, another time, I had some errands here. But anyway, uh, so people don't recognize me there. And two different guys come up to me and ask me if I'm on steroids. Like the first one I didn't talk that much to. The other one, he was like, uh, do you, do you, you know, implying that I would shoot something into my butt cheek. And I tell him, like, no, he's like, really, come on. Blah, 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 blah. This has happened to me before. And I tell him, we start talking between sets. And I'm like, look, bro, consistency is key. That, that's it. I, I told him my story, basically, of how when I started, I just never quit. And that's th then you manifest this, you know. This is what happens. But everyone likes to believe that people that have the results that they don't have, the, they must be cheating or there must be some kind of secret, blah, 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 blah. It isn't. It isn't. You, you just got to embrace that if you want a physique like Theo, who started out in a similar spot, you gotta just grind, fucking grind for over four years to get there. There is no way around it. And so the point about consistency is key even when you don't feel like it. It's again this point with everyone, they love the motivation. And how do I stay motivated? It's again, there's no secret to that. There, there's no secret on how to stay motivated or, or the, how to stay motivated, I guess, is you, you go train even when you aren't motivated and boom, you motivate yourself. It's actually much more motivating doing the thing when you're not motivated to do it in the first place. Because they, yeah, to me at least, when I am like run, riding high in life, you know, then I come into the gym like excited, pumped. And of course I feel good from hitting my workout, but it, like I was already feeling good. It's like no difference. Right now, I gotta say, I've had some tough, life issues i got kind of shattered for a while i'm feeling a lot better but you know picking up the pieces of yourself a little bit you're not quite as motivated with everything and many workouts now like the one today was fine it's a little you know change being in a new gym is like oh they have a bunch of fancy machines here yeah they had there was a funny gym it's like a health club you know and and so the gym is quite mediocre but they had <laughs> since the last time i was there they changed every machine to yeah, they had, it's so funny. They had a bunch of machines, but still none that's really interesting. Um, yeah, but the point of many workouts for me lately, I am not motivated. I am so not motivated. I, I don't come in excited and pumped. I feel like I'm going to be weaker. And I am initially because I, you know, when you're in a high motivated state, it's sort of a stress state. It's like a sympathetic state, but, you know, stress like a positive. You come in a little <clears throat> excited like that. Um, and I have this, uh, inner, the inner bitch is on my ass all the time. I come on to you, no one will know. It doesn't matter. Just one day. Oh, we can cut it a little bit. Sure. I have to shut down this voice. So many times because I know now through all these years when I've been motivated for a long time and then go through some kind of life difficulty, um, you know, it doesn't feel as good as all uh, in general. Like I said, it, it feels good as in it, it raises your spirits more if you were in a deficit, so to say, when you came there. But overall, it's not like you're feeling, oh, I am enjoying uh, the whole process so much right now. Uh, things are going so great, you know. But then when you come out on the other side of it and you see the progress you've made and now you're happy again, you're like, fucking thank you, me, because you kept it going. And that's what's necessary. Too many people, they just quit. They just quit. And the thing, the sad thing is that uh, you could even decide to maintain for a while and you could get away with doing way less because maintaining what you currently have is much easier than making progress. <clears throat> but that is, you know, so many people, is it motivated? I'm not motivated. Motivated, I'm not motivated. But consistency is key to get there where you really want to be, right? So, <clears throat> one sec. So a horde of people coming here. But yeah, the two last points I want to make is that this goes for everything, you know. Everything that seems far away and unlikely right now, consistency is what takes you there. Taking the steps. You know, when you have goals, results you'd like to have, that's only, you should never be focusing on that. You should just know that, uh, yeah, yeah, over there somewhere, that's the direction I'm walking in. 
but then you focus on the steps you have to take each day. It's been like with this YouTube channel, it's still quite small, but it's niched and um, special, I want to say. You know, I can still get clients from the following I have, and I, I stay in touch with quite a few people that follow me, you know, on Instagram and that. Um, but coming to that point, it took two years to be able to, you know, make a living from this only. But I knew all the time, like, this is what I'm working towards. I don't just want to be a personal trainer. I want to have some kind of own coaching, holistic coaching, where I can get involved in more than just the training and blah, blah. You know, I didn't know exactly what it looked like, but I understood that, yeah, for this, you know, I have to get better at what I do. And I have to build a following, even if it's a small, high quality one. It has to be bigger. It has to, you know. And so sometimes you feel like, ah, I have a few hundred subscribers. Is this even doing anything? Blah, blah, blah. But you know what? What can you do? You know, you can't just stop. You know, again, you keep grinding. Consistency, consistency, and then you get there. It goes for any goal you have. It's like how I knew I wanted to move abroad. Now we'll see if it's a permanent situation in Greece. But I wanted to at least try it. Uh, for that, I had to be able to be in a place where I'm, um, you know, bound, not bound to any location, uh, to do my work. You know. It, it, I knew like over two years before, like, not specifically Greece, but I wanted to go somewhere, you know. And so I'm just having that in mind and be consistent with the things I gotta do, right? So the last point though is consistency is key. Like um, one optimal, uh, oh yeah, the, this, this is what I say too, you know, I've come up with more things. But you know, when you look at a guy like me, I did a video about this recently too, about progress, it's not linear, but when you embrace that and do the process as you're supposed to it almost is you know because it's not going to show if you have little on a curve that goes something like that when you zoom out if you kept that trend going it is a line going almost straight like that right so the point is to that you but don't my former coach Wes Watson he made a video recently with um, application versus education that's a problem you know in the information society everyone think thinks they need to, oh, I need to know more, oh, and I don't know quite, I'm not ready yet. Uh, and you both get paralysis by analysis, you get overwhelmed by ideas, you know, filling your head with too many ideas about things you've never practically tried. You don't know for yourself, you know, because you've tried something for yourself and someone comes with another idea, you're like, eh, I don't know, uh, this, my idea is working pretty well for me, you know. But the point is, you don't have to have the perfect, you know, you learn as you go, apply, apply. And that's the thing with a guy like me, uh, looking, it, it looks very consistent, the progress pretty much is, but looking back, there's so many things I could have done better, you know, like, I, I, it's not that I care, I don't think about it like that, because I understand that's what the process has to look like, but I, you know, when you think about it theoretically, where would I be if I knew everything I knew today, you know, but the last thing is, Consistency is key. Uh, hitting the perfect workout, the optimal workout for you once, isn't gonna do shit. Being in a calorie deficit on one day is not gonna do shit. And um, but uh, being <laughs> so, if you're consistent though in doing something that's just not enough, you know, you want to lose weight, you're consistently eating your maintenance calories. And sorry, it's not gonna be enough. Then you gotta push it harder, get those calories down, fast more, whatever. Uh, if you want to make, if, you know, you're going to the gym consistently, but you're not pushing it. You're just maintaining your current strength levels. It's not enough. It's like the worst thing. It's uh, the only worst thing in you know, not doing the thing, not being consistent. It's doing, being consistent in doing too little, you know. It, it, it's like you get off on feeling like you're doing something, but you aren't really, you know. Because, you know, going to the gym and doing something that doesn't... Um, you know, stimulate progress, stimulate muscle growth. That's what we're talking about. That's not, that's not tough to do. Uh, it's just not. Uh, so, yeah, it's like you get high off a of feeling like you're doing something. What are you doing very comfortably? Mm, I sit here in my chest press machine. Just press it a bit. You know? Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video now. Taxi should be here any minute. Um, yeah, well, please like and please comment. All comments and likes help support the channel, so it's very much appreciated. Um, yeah, one of the best things you can do for yourself if you struggle to stay consistent is investing in yourself and in a coach that uh, you trust, like their philosophy, and that has the kind of results you would like for yourself. It's very interesting how it works, you know. 
it's like half the thing, apart from getting the optimized plan with the uh, diet uh, training and adjustments when it's necessary and asking questions, blah, blah, blah. You know, half the thing is now that you're accountable to someone else. You've invested the money, so you have something on the line, but you're also answering to someone else. Me, myself, when I worked with Wes as a coach, like when I had just paid and the coaching didn't even start for weeks yet. I already, I'm like, shit, I gotta level up. I gotta push my content creating up. I gotta do this. Da, 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 da. So that's how it works. Okay, guys, <laughs> please subscribe for more content about it. Oh, yeah, if you wanna reach out about that, sorry. But uh, it's uh, my website. It wasn't me who built it. I realized I had to reconstruct it a bit, but there is a contact form. You can see, link in the description but, uh, or DM me on Instagram. Um, yeah, it's all in the description below. So please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, looks and weight, and muscle. So uh, self-improvement, stoicism, mental health, philosophy, mindset. Consistency is key, guys. Peace.